Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we're taking a look around a Rogue Jet Fastwater 21. This is a very unusual boat in this part of the world. Um, it's an all aluminium boat, hung on a deck. It's fitted with a, a Yanmar 240 horsepower turbo diesel engine that's matched up to a jet drive, so it's a jet boat. Um, it is a 2010 model and it has only four, around 45 hours on the clock. It's basically like a new boat. Um, it's in fantastic condition. It's built to a really high standard. There's absolutely tons of equipment and extras on this boat. And if you're looking for um, either a freshwater or even a saltwater fishing boat, it's a bit of an all-rounder. It's got great performance. It can run in really shallow water and is virtually indestructible. Then this road jet could uh, could definitely be of interest. I personally love it. I think it's a fantastic bit of kit. And um, as we walk around the boat, I'll point out all the features on board, the quality of the build, the, the sort of benefits of owning a boat like this, um, and hopefully just give you a better idea of what this boat's all about um, and the condition that this one's in. If you're not familiar with, with these boats, these rogue jet boats, I would encourage you to Google them and sort of check them out for yourself. There's also a bunch of videos on, uh, on YouTube that shows these things in action. They're built in uh, Oregon, in the United States. They're sort of built for, for shallow water running, obviously, for uh, running up like river rapids and stuff. You see footage of them you know, being bounced off sandbanks and things like that and going up through white water rivers and stuff. Um, and they're basically a really solid bit of kit. The hull is completely aluminium, as is the deck and the, the, so the windscreen surrounds, all that sort of stuff. So it's no danger of any corrosion or anything. It's really solidly built. The quality of the welding and everything is, is really top notch. Um, I mean, this, you can tell this is put together by sort of true craftsmen that know what they're doing here. Um, we've got this checker plate panel at the front. Below the, uh, this, this chine here is just bare aluminium. The boat's never been, never been painted, it's never had any sort of bottom coat on it and you can tell that the hull bottom is in, is in great shape. As I said, this one's only run for 45 hours. It's only ever been used in fresh water here in Ireland and um, you know, it's, it's, it's had very light use. Taking a look down along the, the port side of the boat, it looks almost like a new boat. There are some very, very minor scuffs and scrapes. You can see here, just a little scuff here in this colour band. Um, the graphics and stuff seem to be, I think they're stickers, but then clear coated over the top so that you can't catch an edge with the graphics or anything, so you can't really tear those or, or take them off and they're in perfect shape the whole way down along the boat. There's just a few little, very, very light scuff marks from where the boat's been brought in alongside the jetty. Um, and again, it's obviously spent some of the time in the water. Um, and you can see just there's an odd wee patch where the paint has just come away. I would say after the boat's been brought out of the water and been power washed down, you know, a couple of wee bits of, of, of paint have been, have been lifted. We've touched them in. This is one wee patch here. We've touched it in and just take the bad look off it. But I mean, it's purely cosmetic. It's aluminium underneath that. It's never going to corrode or anything. And um, you've nothing to worry about. This rub rail, um, highly polished aluminium. Great condition, all the cleats and stuff are perfect. Everything above the rail then. These, again, these graphics just look really rich. It's a beautiful color scheme for this boat. It's black with gold and silver um, decals on it. We've got the Rogue Jet uh, name on the side here. It's all in perfect condition as well. And the whole thing just looks, looks fabulous, you know. Down along the, the starboard side of the boat then, again, it looks fantastic. These stainless steel hand wheels, all, everything's polished, a bright shine. The boat was extremely well looked after. It was ordered originally um, <clears throat> by a guy from Ireland who specced it up for the factory to his exact specification and brought it over here. Um, and he, you know, he really did. He did a great job on, on the on ticking the the, list of the options and stuff off. Um, down along this side, again, I'll show you a couple of little small scuffs in the rub rail here. Just this sort of forward corner where you would be coming in against the jetty. But again, very very minor. You have to be looking really hard to see those and then the rest of this side is, uh, is, in, is in great shape apart from again another little scratch down here and there but these are purely just sort of a bit of jetty rash you know from coming alongside 
you have to look hard to see them. This boat, this boat definitely has the overall appearance of, of a brand new boat. You know, walk into the showroom here, take a look at this. As you walk in, it's going to pass for, for new or almost new. Taking a look now across the stern of the boat, um, again, you can, you, your eyes immediately drawn to all the sort of the, the stainless steel detailing work here, highly polished rub rail, these, these engine room vents, a bit of checker plate tread here for climbing in and out of the boat. We've got a centrally mounted uh, ski tow point, so you can pull skiers and water toys and stuff in this boat with 240 horsepower on top. It's got great performance. Um, we've got the hull number stamped into the rail here, so it finishes. O10, so it's not not very often we get boats in that, that are this young, particularly in this part of the world. Um, so 2010, it's really fresh, 45 hours on the clock. It's done virtually nothing. Um, this boat also had this had this molded in. Um, it's a swim platform which doubles up as protection for the jet drive. So this boat, it's fitted with a Yanmar 240 horsepower turbo diesel uh, motor, and it's matched up to this Hamilton jet drive. Um, I get the exact model specification and, and put it on the description down below so you can know what model that is. But Hamilton jet drives are you know, the best in the business. I was checking out the, the new Shahan class lifeboat that was delivered up to the northwest of Ireland here pretty recently and it's fitted out with a couple of Hamilton jets as well. Um, so they have a great reputation for durability, reliability um, and it really is the best, the best one around. This swim platform doubles up the support frames for this, they're, they're big chunky. Uh, stainless steel tubing. They're going to they're going to protect this this uh, the drive from any impact damage that you might sustain in around the marina or something. You know, if you get out of shape, and you catch the steel end of the boat. This here is going to deflect anything before it actually touches the drive. Um, we've got a little folding stainless steel board ladder mounted in underneath this. Keep the fact we've got a little positive locking button here for deploying that. So. It's little touches like that. Most of these other American sports boats have got you know, a little strap thing or something that they always break, little button poppers always break off and stuff. So little details like that are just the beginning of the sort of the evidence of what, what high quality a build this thing is. Um, the, the swim platform is again aluminium, tread plate. It's painted in to, to sort of match the colour scheme of the upholstery and the deck inside the boat. We have um, an integrated handrail here for helping yourself up whenever you're climbing in and out of the boat, if you're skiing or swimming off the boat. This is like a big spring-loaded thing for clearing away weed from the intake of the, the jet drive. If you manage to get the, the, the drive clogged up, you can sort of clear the, clear the intake with that. Um, we've got our fuel fill point. It says gas on here, but it actually does take diesel. This boat was specced again by the guy from Ireland who one of the diesel-powered ones. Um, and we also have these cannon downriggers. Again, stuff like this isn't very common in this side of the Atlantic. Um, very popular in the States. This is a great system for setting your bait at a particular depth of water. So if you're fishing deep lakes for pike or even if you're out in the sea, um, you can be very precise with your, your, your setting bait. Um, but again, if you check out YouTube, videos and this sort of stuff that goes into all ends now. So I, I confess to not being very familiar with this type of gear, but from the research I've done, Canon seems to be the best in the business when it comes to downriggers. These things are about six or seven hundred dollars a piece. They do have telescopic booms on them so you can let them out. The, the motors and everything are, uh, are working perfectly on both sides here. And they also um, have a few positions so you can swing them around the side of the stuff like that there as well. So um, cables and things and plugs are stowed neatly inside the boat. There's no cables running across the decks or anything. I mean, this was all done in the factory, and uh, the boat was was set up for this gear. So this is all factory fit, um, optional gear. That's in great shape, um, and it's fantastic. Fantastic gear to, to, uh, to get the grips with. So all that's included in the sale. There's also an integrated outboard bracket here, an auxiliary outboard bracket. So if you do want a backup motor, um, petrol outboard or something, you can mount that on there and tilt it up, and it, it's well clear of the uh, of the jet drive. The platform finishes short there, so that it can accommodate that as well. Um, they, they just they thought of everything in this boat. Um, it, it's sort of built 
to commercial standards, really more than leisure standards, I would say, and it would make a fantastic work boat um, for someone as well. Taking a look down below the waterline then, you can see that the jet drive itself is in great condition. Still got the original paintwork on it. Again, a couple of little bits and pieces have flaked here and there, but it's all aluminium, so you don't have to worry about corrosion or anything. Um, that's just purely from whenever it's in the water, after it comes out, it gets a power wash, some of it's come off. Um, but it's in great shape. We've got the exhaust outlets here, got a little transducer for the, uh, for the depth fish finder, depth sounder up the dash. Um, you can see the shape of the hull. It is a, a sort of fairly moderate V. Um, so it's well, and, and you can see the extent of the draft as well. It's, it's no more than sort of 12 inches, I would say, draft from the waterline to the bottom of the boat. And, you can, and the boat will comfortably run in that depth of water. So it's great for shallow rivers, shallow lakes, even shallow bays. I have had the boat out in the sea, goes well, it's got a, a decent V, the front sort of flattens out a wee bit towards the stern, but it's not a flat bottomed boat, you know, it, it does handle uh, a bit of chop fairly comfortably. And um, as, I, as I said, everything down here is in great shape. The boat's also fitted with this Minn Kota Tarova 80 pounds thrust um, electric trolling motor, so it's a bow mounted motor. This bracket was factory installed, as is the, uh, the whole thing was factory installed, but we've got this factory installed bracket, it's through bolted onto the fore deck of the boat. Um, the motor is in perfect shape, it's 80 pounds thrust, it's silent running, uh, it's got this really easy sort of stone deploy system. Push this in, flick it down, powers the thing up, and it also then releases the, uh, the motor. So you swing it down, just need to be careful with the trailer here. Tighten up your height adjustment, bow, and then the motor locks into position. So, for controlling the motor, we have this uh, foot control panel. So you control this with your, your heel and toe for, for steering control. Then we've got a little side panel that uh, turns the prop. And we've got our speed control here as well, and a little rotary wheel. So basically, you control around in the lake, uh, whenever you're fishing, you don't have to take your hands off the rod if you're sort of trying to track down a fish or whatever. Um, it's completely hands-free control. And the cable on, the, on this is long enough to take it in through, throughout the entire boat. So no matter where the, whether you are on the boat, um, you can take this foot control with you and uh, control the trolling motor. So whenever you're finished with it, it's also really easy to store. You just flip down the lever and the whole thing uh, tilts back. You bring the motor back up into the lock position. And that's you stored and ready to, to run again. You can run the boat on the plane with the motor stored in that position. It's completely locked there. It's not going to, it's not going to drop down or anything. So. Again, this is a factory installed option. From the research I've done, these things are about fifteen or sixteen hundred dollars, not including the boy bracket and stuff. Um, that's all included in the sale as well. It's a really, really slick uh, trolling motor, and it's something you don't see very much of in this part of the world. But I mean, the Americans have been doing this type of thing for a lot longer than, than we have over here, and I think they've, you know, they do it really well. So the fact that you can control that from anywhere in the boat. It's obviously in perfect running condition. It's on its own dedicated battery in there as well. And there's also a battery charger installed. So whenever you're in the marina or at home in the garage, just plug the thing into the, the wall, into the, the you know, 240 volt power, and it charges up the, the battery for this. So whenever you're ready to go for a day's fishing, it's fully charged and it will run all day long. This boat has a great set of covers. And it has a tunnel cover, which goes down onto these button poppers. It's like a big flat cover perfect for storing the boat or towing it on the trailer or whatever. Um, but whenever you're out using the boat, you can use, uh, you've got this full set of camper covers. So you've got a big spray hood section that falls out and clips down on the front of the windscreen. We've got two side panels, one on the port side, one on the starboard side, and we've got a vertical curtain then at the back of this as well. So it gives you like a fully enclosed little sort of pilot house arrangement with the helm seat, passenger seat in there and also there's four passenger seats inside the covers. It's still, I think what's great about it is it doesn't come the whole way to the back of the boat so it leaves the back of the boat still completely open for fishing from and it also you've also got the bow area there as well so if you're out on a bad day um, or it's miserable rain or whatever you can still fish quite comfortably out from the back of the boat 
and whenever you're ready to go home or get inside make a cup of tea or something, you can do that inside the covers. There's full standard headroom underneath those covers. The roll-up door in the centre of the back peaks so you can access, you know, and get in and out with, with no trouble at all. Um, and these covers are, are basically like brand new. It looks like they've never been used. Uh, the stitch is perfect. The, the clear panels are still crystal clear. All the button poppers are there. They're working properly. The zips are all perfect. And it's just like, and the bars are in great shape as well. So stainless steel bars and stuff. So um, they're they're just like, like brand new. You know, it's a great thing to have. There's also a little demister and heater inside the cockpit too, which I'll show you when we get inside. But whenever you have the heat, the heat, the, you know, the demister running, the heater running, covers up. It's actually a really cozy boat to. Uh, spend time and even if you're fishing sort of late in the season or early in the spring or even through the winter it's a great all weather boat. There's a few other little things I want to point out to demonstrate the quality of this boat. Um, things like these little high intensity LED navigation lights. You know the bulbs will never burn out. Super high intensity. You're always going to be seen really well. The windscreen wipers on here are proper twin arm pantograph wipers. Heavy duty. They clear the screens really well. They're not going to fall off whenever you're using them in heavy rain. The quality of all the aluminium welding all the way around the boat is absolutely top notch. Um, the solidity of all the deck fittings and stuff, um, the quality of the stainless steel rails, all these little bits of tread plate conveniently located around the boat, it just is a top notch boat. Really well put together, uh, looks the part. Um, you even got this, this you know, toughened windscreens, a lot of green tint to them so you don't get a glare through them on sunny days. The whole thing just is, is, is fantastic. The boat also comes complete with this Guardian twin axle trailer. Now it's an American trailer, it comes from the factory, it's custom matched to the boat. Got these little side guides and stuff on it. Um, custom matched skids underneath, so it's really easy to launch and recover. Again, it's an all aluminium trailer. You can see you've got this heavy duty tread plate over the top of the, the, uh, the wheels and stuff, so you can easily climb up um, in and out of the boat on the trailer. The quality of all the, this aluminium welding again, it's all strengthened where it should be, really well put together. Um, nice heavy duty box section on there, and it's fully rigged with LED lights as well. The plug has been converted to a standard UK 7 pin socket. You've got these long lights on the side, again, it's all LED stuff, and um, looks really good. Now, strictly speaking, I have to point out, it's not road legal in the UK because it's an American belt which just doesn't comply with all the regulations. But it's an absolutely fantastic trailer um, for whatever you choose to use it for. Um, and that's included in the asking price as well. The design of this boat with the helm position and the windshield mounted so far forward means that you get absolutely tons of deck space. Um, the, even with this camper cover, fully up, just want to leave it up for a minute more to show you. You've got all that seating on, in there for passengers and underneath the cover and you still have got all this room out the back here for, uh, for fishing from. There's easily enough room for you know three, three guys probably to fish out here, even with these covers up. The, the rear deck is obviously dominated by the, the engine box, so um, it's got a sun pad cushion or whatever on top of it and it lifts up to reveal this Yanmar. Uh, 240 horsepower turbo diesel motor. This thing has only run uh, less than 45 hours at the moment. Um, as I said, it's matched up to this Hamilton Jet Ride. You can see that everything in here looks almost like brand new. It's, the boat's only ever been in fresh water, so there's no corrosion to worry about. It looks super clean. Builds are nice and clean. There's a couple of automatic builds pumps down in there. You know, two builds pumps either side of the uh, those, those main stringers running up there. Everything is great. The thing runs super smoothly. It starts first turn of the key, bags of life in it, and it's also being sold with a full three month warranty that you can extend up to three years if you want. But there's a three month warranty included uh, with the boat. So you can buy this with complete peace of mind. Um, the, cu the coupling shaft of the jet drive, all the steering controls and stuff, everything looks really, really good in there. Um, we got plenty of soundproofing here as well in the box. Uh, heat shielding and stuff like that. Uh, it's just all quality of the engineering throughout is really, really good. So, what we'll do now is we're going to take down the covers so we can get a better look up at the forward part of the uh, the, the interior here. Um, I'll just show you around a bit better. So, with the covers taken down, the the, the frame folds folds down and slides back to uh, 
to rest there across the across the trance in the boat. Um, and you can tell then with those covers down just how much space you have on board this boat. It's an absolutely huge for a 21 foot boat. It's a huge amount of room uh, in, inside of here. We've got enough seating in here for six. Up front, we've got uh, twin helm passenger uh, seats facing forward. We've then got these little fold down jump seats just immediately, immediately behind those. And then we've got these uh, two captain's chairs on the port and starboard side. They rotate so you can sit and fish from them or whatever. We've got storage underneath each of these uh, seats as well inside these storage boxes. So you get room to store covers and stuff in out of the way, you know, big boxes, gear, whatever. There's also tons of storage up in the gunnels of the boat. Um, on both, both sides, they're carpeted, nice little recessed uh, shelf here. We've got rod storage, three, three, three clips, three spots on this side, three spots on that side for you know, boat hooks, rod, rod hook storage, stuff like that. Um, plenty of grab rails around the boat, you know, they've got this stainless steel handrails and stuff here. Um, the gunnels are a nice height as well, so you feel like you're sitting down inside the boat. And then we've got this aluminium uh, screen, these individual windows again, built a very high standard, virtually commercial spec um, in terms of the, the durability and the, the strength of the cell. Um, it gives good protection to, the, uh, to all the occupants and stuff in here. The whole thing is super low maintenance as well. The floor is the first time I've seen a floor of this, of this type. It's, it's sort of like composite material. It looks like carpet, um, but it's a, it's a hardware material. You can power hose it, power wash it. All the water drains down into the bulge of the boat. Um, so it's perfectly set up for fishing from you. You don't have to worry about trying to keep anything clean. You know, you just hose it down at the end of the day and you're, and you're good to go. Um, condition wise, everything in here is virtually perfect. The upholstery is this lovely beige colored upholstery with a black pinstripe in to match the black exterior of the boat. It's all in great shape. All the brackets, the hinges, the, the clips and catches and stuff, they're all perfect. Um, the, the boat has these little, I don't know whether these were a factory, I'm sure they were a factory thing, but they're probably an extra that the, the owner must have had added just to save the, the, the tops of the seats and things from, from any wear or damage. So they're included. Um, all the seats underneath these are all in uh, perfect condition, as you can tell. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, with having only done 45 hours and spent its entire time in fresh water, uh, you expect that the boat's in great shape, and, and it really is it's in phenomenal condition. Uh, really credit to the previous owners. One other thing I want to point out is the uh, the battery setup in the, the transom of the boat here. So, in this locker here, you can get a look in there. We've got twin battery set up with the gas isolator switch. Again, everything in there is pristine. The batteries are in great shape. Nine times out of ten, whenever boats come in here, we always have to like charge up the batteries and get them going and all that sort of stuff. This one was literally just turn on the isolator switch and, and start the engine. The boat has an excellent helm position. The first thing you notice are these uh, this helm seats. The helm passenger seats are, are the same. They're suspension seats. They have uh, adjustable uh, firmness settings so you can make it softer or firmer according to your, your personal preference. They're height adjustable as well. Um, they, they can move fore and aft and they also rotate. It's a really, I think they're, they're made by Seats Incorporated in the States. The, the model is a Mariner. They are really comfortable, really high grade seats. Um, the mechanism stuff top notch. It means you can get a really comfortable seat position here. And even if you're out, I mean, as I said, these boats are designed for you know rough, rough weather, white water running up fast flowing rivers and stuff like that. So even if you are, you know, if you're bouncing it off sandbanks and stuff, you are that way inclined, this the seats smooth out the ride for you. So it's a, it's an excellent set of seats. Um, in terms of the controls, steering and stuff is super light. One of the benefits of the jet drive is the like fingertip controls. The maneuverability of this boat is unreal. It really does behave like a big jet ski. You can swing it around to full power turns. Um, you can maneuver really tight uh, spaces in really shallow water. Um, it's excellent. We've got twin lever controls, one for the, 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 the throttle control and then for the, the bucket control for moving the, the bucket on the jet drive. Um, everything's moving, everything's operating really, really sweetly, very, uh, very nicely indeed. Feels like brand new. 
All the equipment is working perfectly as well. We've got little uh, LED cockpit lights here, navigation lights, bilge pumps, twin bilge pumps in the back, they're also automatic. Windscreen wipers, twin speed wipers, um, blower motor in the engine bay, the demister as well. So you've got a little demister mounted unit down in here, draws the air in through these little vents, puts it out here. Um, so we've got two outlets up at the windscreen, so you keep your windscreens clear even on a, on a wet damp day with the camper covers up and you've also got this little outlet down at, at foot level so you can uh, you actually get a decent bit of heat out of that whenever the engine's running um, and like I said if you're out late in the season early in the spring or even if you're skiing or something with the boat on a, on a late summer's evening it's getting a bit cool or something you can just throw up the camper covers stick on the the, the little uh, heater and you know you quite comfortably keep skiing right into the right into the night so it's really is great shape everything's in perfect condition here as well we've also got a Lawrence uh, HDS 5x uh, fish finder um, so again this would have been brand new at the time in 2010 the transistors mounted on the transom very good unit um, the Yanmar engine is matched up to this little control panel with a digital taco here this gives a bunch of engine information from temperatures oil pressures even uh, fuel flow rates and stuff like that. We've also got a, a dedicated oil pressure gauge here. And we've got an integrated fuel level gauge as well. Um, so whenever we had the boat out, I'll show you the water test footage in just a minute, but um, suffice to say the boat goes fantastically well. It's got tons of power there, it's a 240 horsepower diesel engine. It gives it a great uh, turn of speed. There's more than enough power to get the boat up on the plane quickly, even the full load of passengers on board. Um, like I said, there's enough power there for pulling uh, water toys and skiers and stuff like that as well if you want to. And, um, and you know, just for generally having a bit of fun with this boat, with the handling that comes with that jet drive, really is a, a good, you know, fun boat to drive. Um, in terms of the, uh, the running uh, performance and numbers and stuff, I was seeing around about, cruising speed I would, I would reckon would be around about 2,800 RPM, there, there or thereabouts. At that, at that um, rate of running, we were getting 20 miles an hour out of the boat, and uh, it was burning about five gallons per hour, something like that. So it's very economical to run at sensible sort of speeds. If you open the taps on it, it runs right up to 4,000 RPM. Speeds are in the region of 45 miles an hour or thereabouts. Now it is burning sort of 14, 15 gallons per hour fuel at that at that sort of speed. But it's good to know you have it there on tap if you need to use it. But Generally speaking, for everyday running around and things, the boat is extremely economical, very easy on fuel, um, and that's one of the big advantages of that, that diesel motor. And it's something that's very popular on this side of the Atlantic, and that's why the guy who ordered it from the States decided to put the diesel engine in. Now, he paid a lot more for it over the standard sort of petrol motors that these things tend to come with in the States, but it's a, it's a great thing to have. In many ways, this boat's a bit, I mean, I would say it is unique. Um, you're, you're very, certainly you don't find it, I couldn't find any other rogue jet boats or any aluminium jet boats like this for sale in Europe at the present moment. And the ones that are for sale in the States, they tend to be petrol powered. Um, and uh, so it's, it's an unusual and unique thing to find on this side of the, of the Atlantic with the, the diesel engine. So it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but for the right person, this boat is going to tick all the boxes and be a fantastic buy. I think, I think it's a phenomenal boat. Really do, I really do genuinely like this boat. Condition-wise up at the helm, everything's perfect. The windscreen surrounds, the glass, the rubber seals, wipers, controls, everything's in excellent shape. We've got a little uh, recessed storage shelf down here as well. We've also got cup holder at the helmsman's feet and also at the passenger feet there as well. We've got lockable glove compartment here. This is a full file on uh, the Hamilton Jet Drive, plus all the other stuff relating to the the, uh, the boat and the, the purchase and all that sort of stuff. So we have all the original documentation, spare set of keys, and underneath here, more storage. We've also got the dedicated battery for the, the bow-mounted uh, trolling motor, and the little battery charger sits, sits in there as well. So um, that's just purely for charging the, uh, the trolling motor battery, and then obviously the engine battery's charged whenever the engine's running. So we're going to show you the water test footage of the boat now, give you a better idea how it handles and stuff, um, and see the sort of fun you can have in it.
access out into the bow is through this uh, opening windscreen section. It's all rubber steeled and stuff, so you won't get any water coming out through it. Heavy duty hinges and things. One little step out here. What we have out here, as well as a big sort of um, tread plate area for standing on and fishing from, we've also got our, our tanks in this big sort of bait well, sort of live well type thing in here. And we've got access into the, uh, the forward bilge there too. So you can use that for fine gear into or whatever, but that's access into the forward bilge area. Um, this whole area is, um, is scuppered self-draining, so there's, there's two scuppers either side. So if you do find any water comes in here, it'll hit the screen, run down into the, this bow area, and it'll drain out the side over the deck scuppers. It, it won't find its way down into the bilge at the moment. So just a good safety feature if you are out in rougher, rougher weather, or if you are, you manage to find a white water river over here in Ireland, it'll, it'll keep the boat dry. Um, again, very clean stuff. Little uh, rope plate uh, for, for dropping the anchor and stuff, um, and you've got room up here to store your anchor out of the way as well. All that sort of stuff's included with the boat. We've most of it out of it for now, just because we were doing the sails preparation. But the boat comes with an anchor, chain, rope, uh, fenders, dock lines, all the covers that, like I said, the tonneau cover, the camper covers, the down riggers, the, um, the bow mount, the trolling motor. It's all included. It's a complete package. It's ready to just go to the water. Um, and like I said, you know, if you rock up in this thing, people are going to think it's a brand new boat. It looks like brand new. It's 2010, it's only 45 hours on the clock, and it's certainly going to make a great buy for someone. I'm fully aware that this boat is definitely not going to be everybody's cup of tea. And it is the fact that it's so unique over here um, in this part of the world is going to turn a lot of people completely off, and it's going to turn some people on. I am one of those people that gets turned on by stuff that's really different and unique and whenever they're built to the standards this thing's been built to and whenever it has this sort of spec it's just an added bonus I mean if you strip this thing down into com its component parts a Yanmar 2010 Yanmar 240 horsepower turbo diesel engine with only 45 hours on the clock has to be worth like 15 to 20 grand a, a new one of those is about 25,000 pounds the Hamilton Jet Drive, I don't know what sort of money they go for, but it's easily got to be five or six thousand pounds. This trailer, I mean, it's got alloy wheels and disc brakes. The amount of shiny aluminium on it is ridiculous. The integrated LED lights and stuff, the spare wheel, that's a three grand trailer sitting right there. So, I mean, we're up to like almost thirty thousand pounds before you even take a look at the boat. Um, there's thousand pounds worth of stuff sitting on the back with the downriggers. There's fifteen hundred pounds worth of stuff sitting in the front with the, the trolling motor, the bow mounted trolling motor and things. The suspension seats, they've got to be five or six hundred dollars each, I would imagine. Um, so whenever you look at the value sitting in this package, I think it's on me. It's a phenomenal bit of kit. It's built to do a job. It does it really well. I think it's a versatile boat at the same time because you can use it for skiing. It's a great family boat with the camper covers and the heater and stuff inside. You can go out fishing for an afternoon in it, obviously, and you know you can take it take it wherever you want to go. I mean, shallow bays, rivers, lakes, whatever. Um, it's just a great all rounder. So I know it's not for everyone, but for the right person, this is going to be the boat of your dreams. It's 100% reliable. It's virtually like new. All the paperwork's there and it's coming with a, with a full three months warranty and if you want to extend that right up to three years that's possible as well with the, with the new aftermarket warranty company that we're using so um, hopefully you like the look of this boat and if you like it as much as I do and you're thinking about you, you want to buy it then please don't hesitate to get in touch just drop me an email or give me a call or you can fill out the callback request form on this page of the website and I'll contact you at a time that's convenient thanks very much for watching